Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Fu, and we're gonna start running. <laughs> Cause we got birds that we gotta get past. Actually, let's walk up to them nice and quietly and- HA! <laughs> I kinda like the way you can just run into the midst of them and startle them all. But, last time we started Claire's- No! No! Get- Jeez, last time we started Claire's story, we got to that door without taking any damage. This time I wasn't so lucky. Yeah, we're fine, though. Last episode... We actually got to the precinct, in one piece, without even firing a bullet. We still haven't fired a bullet. Just because there's been no reason, and I don't see myself going back to any of these rooms at this point. The last episode, though, we did go to the hall at the end of this hallway, and there were two liquors waiting for us there, which killed us. Er, killed Claire. <laughs> a little bit of a difference there. So, this time, I'm gonna see if I can go down here instead. Take the herbs and all. <laughs> Leon's not gonna need them. <laughs> Even though I think those are two herbs that I did sorely need. Uh, hopefully this room isn't too bad. I know that there's like four zombies in here, but... Alright, let's get the stuff off this guy. Yes, handgun bullets. Oh, we're swimming in the bullets now. Nothing else. Can we unlock this door? It's locked. No, we need the heart key. Or the, yeah, the heart's key. Alright, let's see. Okay. <laughs> and we'll just get the valve handle right there. So I guess we can go extinguish the chief's office right away. I thought, at first I had thought, um, no, that's what Leon does. So, did that, yeah, the head on that zombie's moving. I'm not that stupid. Game. Although I had just gone to check the body. That's that's really disturbing, though. I think that's the most disturbing zombie thing I've seen yet. That his head is just moving back and forth. Like, ugh. Like a kid who had been pushed down or something. Alright, let's take care of some of these guys. There we go. We'll at least get him down. Six shots, it seems like, with this gun. I think that was the same with Leon's gun. Again, I just want to get him down and probably kill him just so that I don't have to deal with him. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five on that guy. Or four. Oh, jeez. Okay, I thought you were stuck on the door jam and I could just do whatever. Just play around with you a little. Okay. That guy's gonna cat. Okay, he's gonna get up anyway. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Jungle boogie. Get up. Jungle boogie. Get it down. <laughs> Zombie boogie. Boogie around. <laughs> Alright, he's dead. Whew. I like it. I actually like this, uh... I'm liking this playthrough a lot more, actually. I think it might just be because I know the precinct now. I mean, yes, that's kind of ruining my expectations of what's gonna happen. I mean, of course, there's different things, like... We didn't witness the helicopter crashing with Leon, and we didn't witness the uh, the route that uh, Claire took. No, I'm not going to take that yet. I'm going to wait until we get to the storage bin. We didn't get to... Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I, could have, I, I could open this if I remembered. But no, 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 no. 
I don't remember what the key, what the code was that we got with Leon. But I don't know. I, I like that the the atmosphere is is changed. Cuz I feel capable now, which we didn't really have with Leon even though he was well, a police officer. We should have had that sort of capable feeling. No, I want to kill this guy. Can we not can we not uh, stab him at all? Wasn't there a camera angle over here? Yeah, there we go. Because that guy by the chair is still alive. Or not. And there's just like this this very brooding atmosphere now that I'm kind of liking. Like this, that might just be this room because it's all ambient sound, it's just the fan, but I don't know, there's something I'm really liking about this. Okay, I'm gonna try walking through them. Because <laughs> I can't, I can't... They're just not getting up. That guy's definitely alive, I know that, but he's gonna stay down, I think. Is that something on the ground? No. Okay. There's more guys out here. Get your pistol ready, Claire. I don't know, it's kind of weird that we're killing the zombies that Leon killed, even though I know that later on there's going to be things that change. Like, oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, get off of me, you sons of... Bitches. That was not fun. Okay, get off! Run past him, Claire. Okay. You go. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What's that? No, no, no. A little closer. Come on, take him out. You can do this, Claire. I like Claire. She's a very. She's a. I don't know. She's got. She's got. She got Moxie. <laughs> oh, she's got. She's got something about her that I do quite like. And I can't put my finger on it. It might just be her design, because... Yeah, I kind of like ponytail model girls. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, it's just... I like how she's taking charge, and it's not like... Okay, I can't even see what I'm doing now. <laughs> I hope I'm running... Yeah, there we go. It's because of all those <laughs> the zombies in the way. I gotta take these guys out. I'm gonna be moving through this corridor so much. If Leon's story is any... indication. There's no way that I can go without killing these guys. And we used all our ammo anyway. <laughs> No, equip it. There we go. Oof. No, I, I wonder also, because do these guys bleed out, for lack of a better term? Because the ones in the, uh, in the other room seemed like they did. He's dead. It seems like they're all down for the count. So far as I can tell. Night shift. Nothing is wrong. Maybe I want a soda, okay? Maybe I want a nice coffee. It's a pretty stressful situation, game. Maybe Claire just needs a coffee to calm her nerves. You dig? <laughs> oh, is that ammo on the... No, it's a piece of paper or something. Phones are cut, or nothing to care about, is that what it said? I'm gonna grab the herb, but I'm curious as to what will await us if we return to the lobby of the precinct, because it's right through that door, isn't it? Hmm. This also gets more interesting and interesting, because we didn't run across Claire except for a couple of times through the game with Leon. I'm just wondering if that's going to be the same with this 
side of the story. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm just very intrigued by the idea. Because, like I said before, I haven't really played through Jill's story in Resident Evil 1 yet. But that's a much... That's a much more open area. I know that sounds weird just because... Oh. It's not really a more open area. It's about the same. It's just that you don't go through the central hub like you do with this one. We were going through this this room time after time with Leon. But in Resident Evil 1, we didn't really go through the main entry hall all that much. Especially not after a while. So, I, I just gotta wonder, that's all. Door lock service, hall side doors locked. These doors can be unlocked by a card key, which we don't have, I'll have you know. So we gotta get that. Unless I don't... I, I don't know, can we lockpick them? Hmm. Because I... There was that one locked door, but I didn't try unlocking it, per se. I'd hope that it did it on its own. Uh... No, we can't use that now, but it says it's locked from the inside, so maybe it's just different. Like, let's see. It's electronically locked. No, we don't need that right now. So we gotta find a keycard. First thing we gotta do. I'm guessing. I don't wanna fight liquors right now. Those things are hard. <laughs> it's harder than a group of zombies, at least. Because at least zombies are slow, and... I'm gonna go back and check. Because I don't, I don't really know how Claire works yet. Alright, so let's see how many of them actually did die. Okay. I should check the last time we were in here, but... Check for the missing bodies, that's how you know they're dead. Alright, let's see. We're close enough to... Yeah, we're close enough to use it, it's just... I guess we can't use it. I'm guessing it's only for a few specific doors. Which essentially let the path that Claire takes through the precinct be wholly different than Leon's. Okay. Uh, doesn't this lead upstairs? Well, eventually. Like, isn't this the one that wraps around... And it's gonna lead up to... Oh no, this leads to the interrogation rooms, that's right. Thought I heard something. Okay, these are the, uh... Broken windows. And such. Oh, there is a liquor in there, isn't there? Okay, that was... <laughs> that was my feet on something. <laughs> Again, the soundscape, it's just, it's so quiet except for a few spooky sounds. And then you've got the sound of tramping on glass that freaks me out more than anything because I just don't know what it is. What does that say? I can't read it. It's locked. A club is etched under the keyhole. Can we use the lockpick on you? No. Okay. Now this is the safe room, I believe. It's not not safe room like Left 4 Dead safe room with the box and ammo and stuff. I mean, oh no, there's a liquor. Come here, you. No, hit him. Jeez, I thought I was hitting him, but she was just... She was just shooting at nothing. She's so... Oh, she's so... Paper thin. Like... <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Oh, man. Compared to Leon, she's just dying all over the place. Alright, that was my own fault, though. 
I thought I, I thought I had a beat on him. Guess not. Okay, but I know there's a liquor in the next room. Unless that's changed. I don't know, maybe it did from Leon's. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> It's a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? Leon Kennedy. What? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, we got, we got pistol ammo now. What am I doing carrying the knife around? Eh, I see the red plant, but I can't mix it with the two green herbs right now. It's locked. A diamond is etched under the keyhole. So it looks like we have to go confront those liquors. Oh boy. Is the only thing I can think that we can progress at this point is to use the valve to extinguish the fire above the chief's office. And maybe find something in there? Maybe? I don't know. We'll find out next episode, because that's where we gotta go. But right now, I'm saving. I have to... S no, I gotta, I gotta save here. I think. Yeah, I gotta save over here right now. Because otherwise, I gotta go all the way back to the cabin. I might reuse the older save file, the cabin save file and not go out into that larger hallway with all the zombies just because it might be easier. But we'll 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 come to that next up. We'll we'll cross that bridge when we come to it next episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Xfu. Take it easy, guys.